What is up my people? What is up? Welcome to my new YouTube channel Power Jam. My name's PJ and today I'm going to show you how I build my star house on Minecraft. But what? Wait, what? <laughs> Dude, what? Get out! Bro. Yeah. So, the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to lay down your foundations of where you want your house to be and how you want it to look, how you want it to stand and how deep and how wide you want it to be. After you've done that, as you can see I've already done that, after you've done that what I like to do is I like to build one level above ground. So as you can see this will be my floor. Okay. This I like to build across this so we have room outside the front to put like a little landing area, a little decoration area out the front. So this is what I've built with the exact same concept, just literally gone 11 blocks long, 13 blocks deep, 5 blocks tall. Um, this is what I've come up with. It's a bit over the top, a bit over dramatic at the front, I must admit. Um, but you've got to admit, it does add some amazing depth to the build. Um, I'll gloss over this, I'll just run into the middle real quick, I'll run into the interior. Um, as you can see, I've got a room divider to one side, I'll show you in there in a sec. Um, but right now I'll just come into it, as you can see I've got a massive fireplace. Um, right guys, coming inside, the first thing you'll notice is I've got a one big massive open room with a divider to one side. I'll show you what's on the other side of this in one sec. But first of all, we'll just run through this building real quick. Um, as you can see, I've got a massive fireplace. I like grand fireplaces in the center of a room. I think it has such an amazing touch and it just helps tie everything together. Um, I'll tell you what I mean in a sec. But over here we've got a little kitchen area, um, some blast furnace with a tap to symbolize. I mean, a lever to symbolize the tap. I think that's an amazing touch. Um, I think that's, is that a smithy table? Oh, I kind of just broke it. Um, smithing table to be used as a little hall, a little oven, um, as well as a blast furnace. Um, hop in the, hop in the minecart, makes for a nice little trash can. Um, I've kind of done the same over here with the powered rail on top to make it look like it's a burning hob. Um, over this time, just on a smoker that you can actually use. Oh, sorry. Um, some more storage, some extra storage on top. I just see it's getting a bit dark now outside, but oh well, we're inside. On the curtains, I mean on the windows, I just told you what they are. Stop it. Get some help. Basically curtains, they just, I think they look absolutely amazing. Like the open curtains that you can see outside. Oh, it has such a homely feel towards it. Um, I've got a nice little seating area with some, with a nice rug in front of the fire. Um, is it raining? It's raining in my fire. <laughs> What's going on here? Um, I've even used some scaffolding blocks now. I know scaffolding is such an amazing tool when you're building in survival mode or adventure mode. Um, but they're actually a really nice decorative block as well, don't they? Look just, oh, look amazing. With some flower pots on top to add some decoration to this side of the room. Um, yeah, so up next, I'll show you what's in here. Um, nothing special. Ooh, you're hard showing off. Just a nice little bedroom. Um, another little bedside table there, some more storage on this side. Um, some more storage there, a little armor stand for your best gear maybe if you wanted. Um, through this door, for this little, not really hidden, but kind of hidden door, there's another little storage room with plenty of storage space. I could continue all the way up to the top if I wanted, but I think that's just unnecessary for me. I don't need that much room. There's so much room in all of these with all the barrels. Now, one of my favorite features, oh, I'm kind of in another arm stand there. Stupid. Um, one of my favorite features of barrels is you can put them in any like orientation. You can rotate them, you can put them in it. Randomize it. Today, Junior. Randomize it completely and I think it still looks absolutely amazing. Now you can see none of these at uh, this area isn't matching and it just looks amazing. I think these are red as well. Yeah, as you can see, I've gone pretty odd with these and they just look amazing. Um, you can even fit in some decorative, like I've done with these bookshelves, some decorative blocks up there. 
Um, or you can just leave that completely blank. It's completely up to you. It's your build after all. Um, another little armor stand. Um, and uh, Now what you will notice is I kind of left this open and I'll tell you why I've done this. Because remember being in this room a second ago, how, how tight it feels. It, it's not small, but it's it's tight and um, it would be the exact same in here. Same width, just a, I think it's like two blocks longer. Quick mess, boom! But because you leave this open space here into the main room, the lounge area, it has such a homely feeling. It makes the room feel so much bigger and so much more spacious. It just looks absolutely gorgeous in my in my eyes um never mind this is just a little support beam and nice little decoration what you will see on the chandelier i'll fly up the little chandelier little lighting fix um i like to use spruce uh, spruce fences because obviously whatever would you if you build out of acacia for some reason or oak you can't i'd suggest using them fences um I like to use these with lanterns because you can use them on different levels and I think they just tie in very much. look very nice. Moving on to the exterior guys, I'll show you what I did at the front. So this is my exterior guys, obviously you can see it's in the middle of the night but that doesn't even matter because I've got the lanterns up and they had so, such a beautiful little I kind of wanted to show you this at night because I think it just looks, oh, it looks absolutely amazing at night with the glow around the building. Oh, it looks absolutely beautiful. Um, you will admit, well, I will admit, first of all, I have gone a bit over the top with all the little stairs and the little levels and stuff like this at the front and how far out it's gone. In. But you've got to admit, it does add such a nice little home feel. It has so much depth to the front of the building. As you, as you can see over there, that is just... I don't know if you can see it all. Times at day, it looks very, oh, it looks very bland and it just looks square and just looks awful to be fair. But with this, haven't done much decoration. I've literally just used stairs, slabs, wood logs and fences and lanterns and that's all I've done. And it adds so much depth and so much decoration and like little details into the build that just make it like go that one step above how you wanted it to look. That's in my view, you guys don't have to do this. It's completely up to you. Gardens, a little garden area. I like gardens, I don't, I think they just look amazing. Little two blocks, you don't need a massive one coasting all the way out here. Just a little two block garden there. Uh, spread some flowers out. I don't think you need flowers on every single one. I think that's just over the top to be fair, but everyone has their own view. I like to a little space it out like this with some spruce trap doors to tie it all in together. Same on this side, two big ones and just a couple spaces just to make it stand out a little bit more instead of just overflowing the whole room. It's raining again. I'll tell you what, this weather's, can't make its mind up. Oh, oh, I've messed up. Um, moving on to the side, I will show you real quick. That's the top of me fireplace, by the way, as you can see, hello. Hello, I will fill that in at one stage. Um, one of my favorite things to do in the builders obviously have oh, have the wood corners. Um, so you can see this is my 11 by 13 stone brick house. It's free real estate. The square with the spruce logs on the corners. Now to tie these in, I think it's an amazing look. Use the spruce fences, use there because that there to me, that wood just stands out way too much. It just doesn't look the same. That ties it in so much together so it looks like a purpose built thing and it just looks oh, absolutely amazing in my eye. I'll show you the back, nothing special, just some things. Accent block there, little cracked stone bricks. I think they just look beautiful with it. Um, I'm not the best at roofs, I must admit. I am terrible at making ceilings and roofs. Um, but I think this little arch that I've got going on here looks pretty good. Um, I'd say so myself, you guys may disagree. Um, ignore this, this was just a little project I was working on. You didn't see anything. Um, but yeah guys, this is my build. If you guys did like this video or you'd like to see any more, please do hit that like and please subscribe.
Do it! Do it! Um, let me know down below in the comments if you would like to see any different tutorials, an actual tutorial this time, or if you'd like to see any other building, building ideas or building tutorials like I just said. Um, let me know down below. Nothing's out of the ordinary, so please guys do like and subscribe and I will hopefully see you in the future. Bye. Bye.